all probably noticed, it's been quite some time since the map has sent us on a mission of friendship. Yeah, ever since Starling messed with you to go back in time and try to change history. Yes, since then. But as part of her studies, Starlight's been assisting me, and together we think we've come up with a spell that will get it working again. <laughs> now, without further ado... <laughs> Lunch? 
Yes, indeed. I'm Saffron Masala, the chef here at the Tasty Treat, the most exotic cuisine in Cantalot. Would you like to hear about the specials? We're actually in a bit of a hurry. Yes, please. We have a great hot cake. We'll take one. And a glass sandwich that has been marinated overnight in a mustard Dijon dressing. How can we say no to that? And for you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. No, Ricky. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to go anywhere, anywhere, they won't. Hiya, what's your name? Coriander Human. Are you a chef here too? My daughter cooks. I host. Then why are you stacking chairs? Without customers, I have no pony to host for. So, I stack. Father, stop it. Don't close up the restaurant around our guests. What does it matter? When they leave, no pony else will be coming in. Well, your attitude isn't going to bring anyone in. Can't you at least pretend to be positive? So good! You are doing enough pretending for the both of us. No pony here wants to try anything new. I know when to throw in the towel. Uh, Pinky, perhaps we should excuse ourselves. For my daughter that I never listened to. Rarity, I think that friendship problem just clamped us right between the eyes. These two? Oh, I don't know, darling. The pony is excellent, but I'm not sure there's much you and I can do to help them. What would you have me do? We can't even get Zesty Gorman to come to our restaurant. She took one look at how empty it was and said it wasn't even worth eating. That's it? She couldn't convince Zesty Gourmand to come visit us. We will need to pack all this up. I am just getting a head start. We really don't know Barry. I love it. See? It took all of my charm and cajoling, but I was able to convince Zesty Gourmand to come and try the food. What is the catch? Ah, uh, yes. Well, um, there is a bit of a challenge. The only time she can make herself available is tonight. Oh, yeah, right. What is it? Zesty rates a restaurant on cuisine, decor, and presentation. And she has very specific tastes. If she's coming tonight, there is quite a bit of work that needs to get done. Like what? Oh, tweak here, a tuck there, some slight modifications to the menu. We just need a place to feel more cosmopolitan. <laughs> Father, after Rarity went to all of this trouble for us, can't we at least try? with Coriander to get the restaurant ready for Zesty's arrival, you and Saffron can try and drum up some business. One packed restaurant coming right up! Coriander, I understand your trepidation, but I promise you we will get those hooks by making this place feel just like all of the other restaurants on Restaurant Row. Oh, I hope my father doesn't drive Rarity crazy. It'll be fine. Rarity's gonna make sure that the Tasty Tree is the most unique and beautiful restaurant in Canterlot. Not like all those stuffy places on restaurant row. Here's what I know. If you want to succeed, you must follow the trends. That's the key. If you want to show that you've got what it takes, you must be what they want you to be.
to be adventurous. But so far, the food in all these hoity-toity places tastes like some pony cooked up nothing with a side of nothing. Well, please, come try the tasty treat. I think it's going to be exactly what you're looking for. Adequate. But take some advice from a friend. Keep your opinion. 
begins out of restaurants, substandard food, laughable service, and I would think even you could recognize that the decor here is trying desperately, well, desperately failing. Recommending a disreputable place such as this could do serious damage to your social standing. Disreputable? You mean a place with food that actually tastes good? Any pony can throw ingredients together and create an obvious taste that uncultured ponies like those two can register. Hey! But it takes a true culinary artist to create a subtle taste, the barest hint of a sensation. That's what I bring to Cantalot. That's art. I don't know that there are words to adequately express how truly sorry we are. The worst has happened. No use crying over spilled food now. Here, this always cheered me up when I was younger. <gasps> My spicy flat noodle soup. Oh, my. This is truly delightful. like the food we made together when I was younger. It has been so long since we cooked together. <laughs> Remember how you used to hide the ingredients you did not like? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Who cares what some stuffy unicorn thinks of the food here? It's exquisite. That's true. And you don't need three silly hooves in your window to prove it. You just need ponies in here to give it a chance. Ponies that will tell every pony else in Cantalot that the Tasty Treat is the best food in the city. That's true times three. But without Zesty's approval, no pony will even try our food. Oh, yes, they will. Vicky, we are the perfect team for this. We were just doing the wrong jobs. I will go out and bring the crowd. You stay here and make sure this place is every bit as unique and rustic as it was the moment we walked in. And what about us? You two? You are going to cook. Make whatever you want and make a lot of it. I intend to bring a crowd. We know of one of the premier boutiques in Catalog put a stamp of approval on something that was a fabulous. Right. I, for one, think the food here is delicious. 
I own the smoked oak on Restaurant Row. I hate the food we make. From now on, it's all smoked, basted, and grilled. This food is an inspiration. I own the big stuff. I'm going to make my mother's butt cake the way she made it, full of flavor. <laughs> Zesty, are you sure you wouldn't like to try the food? Ignoring a unique and fresh establishment such as this could do serious damage to your social standing. Thank you so much. You are both truly 